Hi, this is Artifacts of Mars, and here's the uh, so-called creator blog from YouTube. I'm going to explain what what's going on here. I have to plow through a lot of uh, lies here before I explain what's going to, what's going to happen next. So uh, stay to the end of this video because you are going to want to hear this. I'm going to tell you what's going on. You're not going to like hearing it. I know it's, you're going to consider it speculation, but this is a uh, trend. This is, I've seen this time and time again in life. And what's going to happen, you're not going to like what you're he going to hear. This is a prediction on my part. First, we've got to plow through the lies and bull, the bull squat that we're uh, hearing here. 2017 marked a 20... Tough year for many of you. Several issues affecting our community and revenue earned from advertising through YouTube Partner Program, YPP. Despite those issues, more creators than ever are earning a living on YouTube. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. With a number of channels making over six figures over 40% year over year. In 2018, the major focus for everyone at YouTube is protecting our creator ecosystem and ensuring your revenue is more stable. That is a lie. Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. As Susan mentioned, in December, we're making changes to address the issues that affected our community in 2017 so we can prevent bad actors from harming the inspiring and original creators around the world who are making their living on YouTube. That is a lie. That is incredible bullshit. A big part of that effort will be strengthening our requirements for monetization so spammers, impersonators, and all the bad actors can't hurt our ecosystem or take advantage of you while continuing to reward those who make our platform great. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. I'm going to explain why they're lying. But I have to plow through a bunch of stupid stuff. Uh, used to be you had to have 10,000 views. Starting the day, the eligibility requirement is for monetization to 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months and 10,000 Subscribers were arriving at these new thresholds after their own analysis and conversations with, conversations with creators like you. I'm sorry, I'm tired, and I'm red-hot angry. They don't allow us to significantly improve our ability to identify creators who contribute positively to the community and help us drive more ad revenue to them and away from bad actors. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. These are higher standards. Will also help us prevent potentially inappropriate videos from monetizing, which can hurt a revenue for everybody. In February 28th, February 20th, 2018, we'll also implement this threshold against over existing channels on the platform to allow for a 30-day grace period. On that date, channels with fewer than 1,000 subs or 4,000 watch hours will no longer be able to earn money on YouTube. When they reach 1,000 subs and 4,000 watch hours, they'll be automatically reevaluated under strict criteria to ensure they comply with our policies. That is a lie. Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. New channels will not need to apply, and their application will be evaluated when they hit the, these milestones. Though these changes will affect a significant number of channels, 99% of those uh, affected were making less than $100 per year, with 90% earning less than 250 in the last month. 
Any of the channels who no longer meet this threshold will be paid what they've all already earned with their AdSense policies. After thorough, thoughtful consideration, we believe these are necessary compromises to protect our community. That is a lie. <laughs> of course, size alone is not enough to determine whether a channel is suitable for monetization, so we'll continue to use signals like com community strikes, spam, and other abuse flags to ensure we're protecting our com creator community from bad actors. As we continue to protect our platform from abuse, we want to remind all of you all these uh, different guidelines and stuff. While this change will tackle the potential abuse of a large but disparate group of smaller channels, we also know that the bad actor of a single large channel can have an impact on the community. All right, this goes on and on. I'm going to explain what's happening here. Now, listen close. Uh, I don't want to go too long on this video. There's reason. Now, I've already gone over five minutes. Here's what's going to happen. Make no mistake about this. This uh, creator blog is full of lies. I've, I've called them lies every time. Because here's what they're planning. I don't have any proof of this, but I don't know how to recognize trends. They're trying to shut down smaller channels like my own. They've already uh, shadow banned my channel where I'm not getting any views. If I was getting even random promotions, I'd be getting a lot more views than I'm getting. Which is almost nothing. So they've shadow banned my channel. It's because I'm a conservative, alright? I stood up for Donald Trump. And they retaliated by shutting down my views. This is political censorship. I've said it before. These people... I've seen their uh, workers. Most of them are from socialist countries. They hate freedom. They hate representative government. But what's going on here, they're not going to stop with demonetizing masses of uh, small channels. No, they're not going to stop with that. This is a prediction. I can't prove it. But I know how to recognize trends. They're going to do something uh, to shut your channel down. Whether they pull it altogether, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to pull it altogether or what they're going to do is something else like uh, make your Make it so you can only upload videos that are five minutes long, something like that. They're going to do something like that. That would be my best guess is they'll make it so... Oh, you can only upload a video that's five minutes long. Or shorter. Which would effectively end my channel. Uh... And it goes on and on. The other thing I was thinking is they might implement a one, you know, one video per month rule or something. I don't know what they're going to do. But one way or the other, they're going to shut down your uh, channels. They'll either shut them down by just pulling them, or they'll shut them down by making it impossible for you to create anything and upload it. This is political censorship. They hate freedom. They hate representative government. They believe that, um, you know, creators, people who are creative and intelligent, they believe that they're a waste of skin. Believe me, they do. I am going to fight this tooth and nail. This is infuriating. I, I don't know what to say. I am going to get on the horn to my representatives, and I'm going to rip them a new asshole. Look, the one thing your uh, representatives could do is they could censor YouTube. They 
might not have the power to do anything about them, but they could get together with a le major letter and censor YouTube saying you are being disrespectful to your channels. We don't appreciate it. Our constituents are angry. So call up your representatives and let them know that you are angry. Maybe a letter, a nasty letter from Congress will wake YouTube up. They are going to shut your channels down, folks. No ifs, ands, or buts. Uh, I am deferring for now what my intentions are as far as what I'm going to do about it. Not a lot I can do about it, but uh, I, do, I am developing a plan which I've been talking about. So, what you need to do, if you care anything about decency, you're going to have to get, raise hell, raise hell with your, uh, raise hell with your representatives, raise hell with YouTube. Make no mistake about it. You've got to raise hell. I don't care! You've got to raise hell. We've got to say, no, this is not going to happen. I don't make any money anyway, but I know this is not where they're going to stop. They are going to shut your channels down. Folks, that's what they're going to do. I've gone longer than I wanted to. That is their intention. They, are, they intend to shut your channels down to stop you from expressing your political views. If, especially if you're on the right. If you're a Donald Trump supporter, you know, they retaliated against me by making it impossible for me to get views. And then they do this because I'm not getting any views. They retaliated, they retaliated against me because I stood up for Donald Trump. That is a fact. I've gone too long on this already. If you care anything, I'm not going to recommend the course of action. I'm formulating a plan for what I'm going to do. Because your channels are going to be shut down, folks. Make no mistake. Big boys like the Cannabis News Network and American Broadcasters of Communism, National Broadcasters of Communism, Communism Broadcasting System, Washington Compost and so forth. Oh, big boys, he'll be fine. The rest of us, your little little guy, you're out of you're out of the parade, folks. Wake up, people! Wake up! Take action! Write your congressman about this. Kick him or her in the rear end, in the dorsal posterior. Kick him in the rear end. Demand that they at least send a letter. To YouTube saying that their constituents are flaming hot mad. Get angry, get angry, get angry. Get angry, 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 and let your anger build. And turn it into something creative like getting on your, com your representatives and demanding that they take action. Use your anger creatively like that. Not destructively, creatively. There's a difference. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I've gone way too long on this. I'm not going to redo it. You can take it or leave it. Thanks for watching.